All right, two minutes or less. So an example of when you think it would be necessary to report to the OIG, so that's the Office of Inspector General. Um, I think it would be necessary to report if the therapist was falsifying documentation or if they were adding on therapy minutes that were not done because both of those things are pretty big no-nos in our book. Um, when would you report to the state board versus AOTA? Um, so you would always report to the state um, that it happens in, but you would only report to AOTA if the um, violator is or was a member of AOTA at the time um, that the incident occurred. Um, have you ever heard of a whistleblower? If so, what does that term mean and how are you protected? Well, according to Wikipedia, which is always a trusted source, a whistleblower is anyone who has and reports insider knowledge of illegal activities occurring in an organization. Whistleblowers can be employees, suppliers, contractors, etc. anyone that's aware of illegal business activities. Um, but we are protected from retaliation under various programs. Um, so for us, with the um, HHS, the Whistleblower Protection Enhancement Act of 2012 actually covers us, um, and it established a whistleblower ombudsman in the OIG to educate department employees in prohibition, and about prohibitions on retaliation for whistleblowing, as well as employees' rights and all that good stuff. What ramifications would you possibly face upon reporting a peer um, or your own facility? I would be covered by the act. However, if the allegations ended up true, that would make the peer or the own or the facility at risk for legal action. So, well, 